Welcome back to another container rollover. We are in the city of Long Beach. I'm just waiting for CHP to give us the green light. They're at the top of the off ramp right now. I figured do a quick walk around. Fully loaded container. Nothing new there. We've got Hector in the 50 ton up front. We're gonna be doing the equalizer sling method. And my dad and I will be doing a Father's Day tag team on this container. Oh, they're both up there already. I think that's my cue. I can start working. Alright, so if you see my outrigger here, the tires are there. Uh, the way we rig these is going to be very clutch. So as the tractor and the container come over, they won't land on my outriggers. I'll be able to push it out into this lane, right inside of the yellow line. Let's walk out my boom and do that. Look at all those containers. It's ready to flip. It's always a trip going to Long Beach and Wilmington and the ports area. Nothing but containers. And this is why we get so many. Just the laws of probability. Yeah, you turn it and come to me, backwards. Yes, exactly, back up and back into it. I thought I was doing it. Huh? Alright, now for the easy part, we're going to set up my cap. And here's my point of view when the boss arrives. It's using Dave's truck. Because Alex is busy at LAX. And Dave's already off. But he's the boss, he could use any truck. I'll have Hector spot him. He's going to back up to it. It's going to be the best bet. And I'll rig up the container holes. Yeah, that truck looks so, so, so good in the day. What's up, boss? He's been at it 40 something years and still at it. As he says, love what you do and you'll never work a day in your life. Super cliche, but I tend to agree.
and there's that Beppus finesse. So there's a massive oil leak up front. The back's lifted up too, just so everything's stable and in unison. But while they sweep up the front at the bottom, CHP's gonna get all the requisite paperwork and stuff from the guy. And these super singles, I mean, we have a truck with super singles. They're pretty cool. They have their place. But in a situation like this, when you get a flat tire, which might have caused a rollover actually, you don't have a backup. You don't have two, two, two tires on one axle on each side. You have one, so if one goes out, it all goes out. It might actually just be a simple flat tire. So we're gonna air it up and see if it'll hold. That way we can just tow this thing out of here and we don't need tire service. Got barely tension right there on the tires. We're gonna try to shoot some air to it and hope this trick works. It's the beauty of having full control. And I got the new Bailey's Platinum Sling. I think they just released it this week. It's either being released this week or just got released as of uh, mid June, end of June. I've had it for quite some time. Seems like I'm the test dummy because uh, the Bailey team knows that I get all these crazy wrecks and who better to test it out than someone that sees so much use. See if I could zoom in on it actually. The specs are out of this world but this stuff is crazy. Probably like one of the strongest things I've ever had in terms of durability. It's that one up there. Look how great this worked out, guys. He was able to air up the tire. That, by the way, is not ours. This one hanging out, that's just a spare that he has hanging up there that fell down. But we were able to uh, air up the tire. It held well. And then Hector was able to clean this disgusting mess. I'm gonna grab all that stuff right now and throw it in the cab. And then it's tow time, we're out of here. Oh. All right, just like that, we're done. No tire service needed. Hector's hooked up. Just running an airline and some safety chains. My dad's disconnected, putting his truck away, and then I'm gonna just put Hulk away. I'm fully disconnected up top, so just take a few minutes and Hulk's done. All done. Quick and easy rollover. No biggie. Hope you all enjoy this one. And happy late Father's Day to all you fathers out there. Peace.